This next story, very interesting details here as the state of Oregon now seeking legal action against homeowners in Clackamas County over this fence. Yeah, they're accused of hiring a team to build this fence from the shore down across the beach all the way into the water. And that's what this is all about. So let's get to our Elise Haas now in a story that you'll also only see on Queen 6 tonight. Elise, so you've talked to both sides here and tell us what is this all about too? You know, this is a complicated issue over property rights, Liz, and the public, the state, and the private owners are all fired up about it. And I am at the River Villa Park here in Clackamas County, and just beyond here where that uh, train trestle is, is where that fence in question lies. Residents nearby say they're disappointed a property owner built this fence on the sandbank down into the Willamette River, blocking public access near the River Villa Park in Clackamas County. However, we found signage clearly stating this area is private property and not to trespass. The only way to legally access this sandbank is by boat or kayak. We found out where the issue comes in with this fence is the water line. We've asked them to remove it. They haven't. Oregon officials with the Department of State Lands issued the homeowners this notice saying that the state owns the river below the water line and that the fence is disrupting salmon habitat. State officials gave the owners 30 days to remove the fence, yet it still stands. So we're taking the next steps that we can to make sure that um, we can respond and protect this area, which is a state-owned waterway and protect the salmon habitat. Coin 6 obtained court documents showing the state has battled the owners Jody and Tim Polich on this issue before, ordering them to remove the first fence back in 2010. Hello, this is Elise. I talked to the property owner on the phone today to understand her reasoning. She told me horror stories of people trespassing on their property pooping, leaving garbage, doing drugs, setting off fireworks and letting their dogs off leash, killing her chickens. That's why she says the fence is now back up for a second time. And the property owner tells me that she's willing to compromise with the state on this issue as long as officials are willing to help regulate respectful access to this area. But she says that she will fight to keep the fence up because she's not willing to compromise her family's safety at this point. Meanwhile, the state says that they will continue to seek legal action to remove that fence from the waterway. Reporting live in Clackamas County, Elise Haas, Quinn 6 News.